Welcome to the wastewater treatment series. My name is Dwi Handaya. Today we would like to discuss about FM ratio food per microorganism ratio. <clears throat> to calculate the FM ratio, we need several data. First thing regarding food. There are two data requirement BOD inlet biological oxygen demand inlet and flow of wastewater treatment to define the microorganism we need two data ML VSS mixed liquor volatile suspended solid and volume of basin in this slide we see the aerobic system biological process the food incoming we check the concentration of organic with BUD5 or we can convert from COD test and then we multiply with the flow with water incoming in cubic meter per day and for a microorganism we need the volume of aerobic system and then multiply by concentration of F activated slab activated slab we can check BUD5, COD, and MLSS or MLVSS by lab test. And then we can find the food and we can find the microorganism. This is the example. Let's say if BOD in at 300 ppm and then flow 100 meter cubic per day, we can calculate the food by 300 times 100 divided by 1000. We can find the food is 30 kg BOD per day. And then how to calculate the microorganism? We can find the MLVSS, let's say 2000 ppm, and then volume of basin 120 meter cubic. We can calculate the microorganism by uh, multiply 2000 times 120 divided by 1000. So we can find the microorganism is 240 kilogram. And then how to calculate the FM ratio? Uh, just uh, 30 uh, divided by 240 and then we can find FM ratio is 0 0.125 kilogram food per kilogram microorganism per day. Thank you for watching this session. I am Dwi Handaya.